quality wine comes from quality grapes, and grape diseases can negatively affect grape quality. Grape diseases affect vineyards worldwide, and California is no exception. Our wet springs and cool growing seasons can be great conditions for disease development. Powdery mildew is the number one disease of grapes worldwide. It is estimated that a grower on the north coast will typically spend up to 20% of the annual farming expense on mildew control. This is the third largest expense associated with growing wine grapes behind only harvesting and hand labor operations. Identification of powdery mildew is simple. The appearance of a white, dusty, or powdery fungal growth on leaves and clusters is the most common symptom. Once established, if enough leaves are infected, the plant cannot properly photosynthesize. This renders the plant unable to accumulate sugar in the fruit, and low sugar content greatly affects the final wine quality. If powdery mildew accumulates on the berries, the diseased fruit can give off flavors. It is estimated that as little as 3% infection rate can negatively affect finished wines. In addition to flavor, powdery mildew can have other negative impacts. For example, infected fruit will become more susceptible to other diseases. Diseased vines are more susceptible to winter injury and stunting ultimately means fewer grapes the following year. By understanding a bit about the pathogen, one can understand how to manage and control the disease. In the winter, the fungus survives as dormant mycelia in buds. When the buds begin to emerge, they are covered by fungus. This fungus sporulates and infects green tissue. Eventually, in the summer months, a different fungus is produced, called Clysothesia. This fungus will infect next year's developing buds. Control is dependent upon reducing early season inoculum and subsequent infections. Thus, treatment must begin promptly and be repeated at appropriate intervals. Timing, type of spray depends on the fungicide use and growth stage. Frequency of treatments thereafter depend on fungicide choice and weather conditions. Typically, high pressure areas require fungicide sprays at shorter intervals, while lower pressure areas can have intervals between 14 to 21 days. UC Cooperative Extension Specialists can help guide growers on selecting the best fungicide products to meet the grower's needs and philosophies. Proper leafing allows the sprays to fully contact all the berries. In this case, you can see clearly through the canopy. This ensures that the spray coverage is as effective and as efficient as possible. Monitor and use the powdery mildew index models to determine necessary spray intervals. Treatments may be discontinued for wine grapes when fruit reaches 12 bricks. Culture operations such as shoot thinning, leaf removal, shoot positioning can improve airflow and light infiltration. These operations will help prevent mildew from getting established on the vines and allow fungicides to actively prevent mildew from establishing.